דבר. שלום, מה שלומך? אני, ברוך השם. יופי, אני רק רוצה... תשמע, רוברט, קודם כל אני רוצה להגיד לך שמאוד מאוד התרגשתי לפגוש את האנשים שלך. והם סיפרו לי על העבודה שאתם עושים, אני התאהבתי באור. Thousands of pupils in some 30 schools throughout Israel won't forget this project. I think the meaning of the operation here in Israel now is to show them that we can make a difference. In the spring of 2007, World Ought joined in an effort to encourage scientific studies in all of Israel. We aren't putting together bricks and mortar. We're providing equipment. But what we're really providing is what, we, what the children learn that they can take with them anywhere. In less than a month, World Ought installed science, computer and electronic labs in high schools from Katsurin in the Golan all the way down to Beersheba in the Negev. After 60 very successful years of developing schools through Ought Israel, today we're now seeing a whole new way of doing things. Everything began with a surprising phone call received by dozens of local mayors. I'm talking to Schuster alone? Alone, alone, yes. Alone. She came to me, Sonia, from London, from the World War II. Within two to three weeks, the labs were all ready. I want to ask you about the World War II. I've been in 40 years in the world, I've never seen this. This is the story of Science Journey 2007. Our first stop, Shekma Regional School in Kibbutz Yad Mordechai, just a few kilometers from the border with the Gaza Strip. This is a school for children from local kibbutzim, moshavim and towns. What all the kids have in common is that they are all within range of the Qassam missiles being fired from Gaza. But today is a celebration. The World Ought Computer Lab has arrived. Yoni from Hodaya is convinced that the new computer lab will help him to realize his dreams. More from Mashen in the Lachish area is happy. She won't have to work on the school's old computers anymore. It's better to go when there's computers that are in the same way and everything. There's computers that look like I don't know what. So it's better to go when it's... It gives me a chance to learn. And what does Nofar from Nohora dream? I want to be like Bill Gates. I want to earn a lot of money and give it to anyone who doesn't. To help people. The peacefulness of the school is deceptive. A closer look at the buildings tells the whole story. The thick cement which covers the roofs and windows is meant to save the children's lives from the missiles being fired from Gaza. At any moment, the code word color red could blast out over the loudspeaker, warning everyone to take cover. At any moment, a missile could fall. אני גר בשדרות ואני כבר מכיר את הכסמות האומנות. הנה עכשיו יש. צריכים לרוץ. אנחנו צריכים ללכת לכיתת מיגון. עכשיו הולך ליפול קסם. אנחנו צריכים להתחבא פה ולחכות 20 שניות עד שנופל לקסם. Unless you go and visit, it doesn't matter how much you know about Israel, you can't believe it until you're there. This area of the schools is an area that was built for a few years, and it's not protected. The main issue is also that the children of the children in this area are not protected. What we saw yesterday was one of the most disheartening views I've ever seen. These buildings, when there is a red sun, when there is a red sun, אז רצים מהר בפנים, זה הכל בטון ממוגן. אז ילדים שבחוץ נכנסים פנימה. 
There's no way to disguise what they are. On Sunday, this happened five times. Last Sunday? Last Sunday, two days ago. Okay, we'll continue. I cannot imagine having to either live that way or raise children in that situation. My impression about the settlements was that they were determined to stay there, to grow, to be a prosperous community there, and that no one's going to chase them away. They understand that they're now at the border community, but they're not leaving. And the fact that we are giving them something to help them educate their children now gives them encouragement, shows them that we're with them and encouraging them. And I think that um, I was very impressed. Like he kept saying, we're not going. He's staying right there. They're all staying there. Our next stop is the regional high school in Shar Hanegev. It's also within the Kassam range. Here, a new computerized science lab is being opened. With the equipment donated by World Ort, the students can now perform precise experiments in a number of different scientific fields. For instance, a precise experiment in physics to measure acceleration. So this computer shows in a graph, well, what's the acceleration during like two seconds, one second. Or a computerized experiment in chemistry. To check in the pH level. The school in Shal Hanegev was very impressed with the speed with which the labs were built. And they're discussing different ways of continuing the relationship with World Ort. The next stop on Science Journey 2007 is the Kaduri High School in the Lower Galilee whose present is just as impressive as its past. It was one of the most incredible places I have ever seen in my life. First, it's a magnificent setting. And how you couldn't want to be, live in peace with everybody around you in that setting would be unbelievable. Kaduri now serves as a melting pot for Israeli society. Girls and boys from Moshavim and Kibbutzim, immigrants from both Russia and Ethiopia, Druze, Circassians, Arabs, and even refugees from Darfur are studying here together and residing in the dormitories. All these different children and the way they got along, that's the future of Israel. We have to have everybody get along from every, from every culture, from every religion, from every area. And this was really a microcosm of what Israel is and will have to be in the world we live in. This is Chorfesh, a large Druze village a short distance from the northern border with Lebanon. All high school graduates from Chorfesh serve in the IDF, and many of them took part in defending the north during the war this past summer. During the break, we meet Hagal, a teacher who complains about the dilapidated condition of the Chorfesh school. גורם להרבה פציעות של, של תלמידים במהלך שיעורי ספורט. אני חושבת שצריך לתקן את כל המגרש ספורט הזה. 
this way. There's no question that the facility itself is run down, in very poor condition. If we can bring one glimmer of modernity, it gives them more than just the equipment. It makes learning a much more enlightening experience. I think that our donors will be very happy to know that every dollar that we spend is making a difference. That every dollar we're spending, we saw where it's going, we saw the children responding to the equipment we brought them, we saw the programs that they're starting to move with them, and I think that our donors will be very happy to know that the dollars that they're giving are doing good. Turem Yakar, Bod Kama Shanim Tagel Israel, Tivaker Bo Mosadot Laskala Gvoa, Tivaker Be Mifalei Hightech, Shem Mekadmim Ayom Ta Kalkala Israeli, Tiresham Anashim Tsayrim, Shitia Lahem Aschut, Laudot Laha Bo Fanishi, Ala Truma Shalcha, Lemarechet Achinuch Amadei Vat Technologi Be Israel. I would like to tell the constituency in Ort, you've brought hope to all these kids who have never had someone from outside come and help them before. It has made a great impact. Mm -hmm.